It's 2008 and Hannibal for King uploads this video to YouTube that starts up the whole calisthenics world. Just three years later in 2011 one guy starts training too. This man has later on inspired and motivated many people to start working out. He's a great businessman and if not the most famous calisthenics YouTuber now. I don't even need to show you a picture of him because all it takes you to know who I'm talking about is this. Chris Heria is born on December 21st, 1991 in Miami, Florida. Chris and his brother Stefan come from a very interesting family, where father is Cuban and mother Chinese. With the weather in Miami being always nice and hot, Chris spends his time with his friends outside, listening to music and basically being active. Chris' parents signed him to martial arts which didn't just consist of different kicks or punches because what they used for conditioning their bodies were calisthenics exercises. The most often strengthened thing was core because their teachers told them that all strength comes from there. With that said, Chris and other children did crazy abs drills to really make their core rock solid which led to Chris having six pack already at the age of seven. And one more thing that was embedded into Chris was discipline. Fast forward, Chris graduates from St. Brandon High School and at the age of 20 he sees a YouTube video where Guy performs a muscle up which Chris finds really impressive and because he can do it he is really motivated to achieve this skill. Luckily Chris had a casting spark next to his home where he began with all the knowledge and conditioning from martial arts his calisthenics journey, not knowing that a few years later he will be one of the most known calisthenics athletes in the world. First year outside of building basic strength, he advances to more difficult skills for example like l sit pull up. He performed this variation by sitting in the sand on the beach and with a little bit of overgrip he tried to pull as high as possible which result in him unlocking the muscle up pretty easily. One of the things in which Chris is different is that he used weight vest right from the start of his journey. It was because he was inspired by seeing Dragon Ball Z and those types of cartoons where they did bodyweight exercises with the vest and pushed themselves to their limits. So this was the real motivation for Chris to train the same way. After unlocking the muscle up, he managed to learn bent arm planche, back lever 2 and even the front lever. To really become comfortable with the back lever, he did flutter kicks while holding it, which result in stronger core and of course easier hold. In 2012, Chris joined famous group called Bar Stars and being sponsored by them he went to his first ever calisthenics competition located in Riga, Latvia. First competition and already the world championship. Even though Chris wasn't the strongest out of all, not pulling any crazy skills like front level pull ups or planche, he was really good in making show as you can hear from the crowd's reaction. He also managed before coming back to Miami squeezing two master classes in Latvia, pull up jam in New York where he met the legend Hannibal for King and the Fit Expo in LA. I didn't know what all this was leading up to but it felt right, he said. Chris being a busy man, he trains his clients, then in between each one he does his training, he meets new people with the same passion or posts tutorials on certain skills to Bar Stars channel, where they gather up a good amount of views for that time, which Chris notices and starts his own YouTube channel called The Miami Trainer with Miami Bar Stars motivational video as his first upload. Later on he created his personal channel too. Another competition for him was Germany's World Cup where he placed second and qualified for the World Cup Super Finals in Moscow at the end of 2013. Of course, he and the members from Bar Stars meanwhile organized many workshops across the Europe. They stopped for example in Austria, Switzerland and Finland. And as I said previously, Chris is a very busy man, so right after these workshops he went straight for another event. 
World Championship in Riga, where he represented USA for the second time and Chris being a real showman, he didn't disappoint. Even though he probably didn't have any intention to win these competitions, they were a good tool to become more famous and Chris being a good businessman, he took every opportunity he could. One of those opportunities he took that year was on the May 10th, when he opened the first ever Kylesnakes indoor gym in the world, called Kylesnakes Evolution. Chris is now 23 years old, so far he participated in many competitions, did many workshops, traveled through many countries, his clients were satisfied with his coaching and his life was basically heading a good way. His Kylesnakes strength was improving too, for example he managed to get closer to full planche, improved his dynamic game or front lever. He also met in 2014 one of his best friends, Osvaldo Lugones, who later on made videos with Chris. His first gym was replaced with brand new Cali Gym called Calisthenics Academy, followed by starting his company called Fenex. At that time it was just a website which offered Calisthenics programs, tutorials, fresh daily workouts and a lot more. With the Thenex success he later on in May of 2016 built even bigger and better gym, the Thenex Fitness Studio. Listen. This is where Chris successfully skyrocketed in a matter of months, maybe even weeks. Thenex channel offered tutorials like top 5 exercises to master handstand, which many people were looking for, same top 5 exercises but for mastering famous muscle up, or for example planche tutorial. Many famous names appeared in the Thenex videos like Gabo Saturno, mentioned Osvaldo Lugones, Mike Rashid or Maga Braga. With the quality of videos, the Thenex had no competition. They even launched their own workout app which many people helped to get in shape, Thenex apparel didn't miss or branded equipment, the most famous being their wrist wraps and later on Harry Upper Weight West. After two years of posting these videos, the Thenex channel had already over 2 million subscribers. People could still meet the legend himself at Thenex workshops, Chris did, again in Switzerland, Portugal, London. Toronto and for example in LA. With everything having its end, the Thenex Fitness Studio's destiny wasn't different. And Chris with his friends switched to new one just for 7 months before settling down in the studio where Chris films his videos even today. These days Chris is more active on his second personal channel where he uploads more YouTube style videos, for example him trying a wheelie with the bike or trying not to laugh challenge. But still the vast majority is fitness related and even the Fenex channel is still after 10 years active. Chris even won the 2019 Fitness and Wellness Influencer Awards in Monaco. Outside of doing calisthenics and traveling, he enjoys skateboarding or for example in his young years he played on electric guitar with the band. This passion for music made him even do a couple of songs and he even met with the famous Tim Hansen. He also became a father in 2011 when his son Zen Heria was born. Because Chris protects his privacy, we don't know who's Zen's mother, but what we know about her from a reddit post Chris wrote is that she wasn't a really good person and made from Chris life a real hell. Before Zen was born, Chris proposed to her and ended up with rejection which made Chris decided that it would be best to not get married, but a few weeks later she gave him an ultimatum. Either you will propose to me right now or I will completely cut off, block all numbers and you will never see me or the child again, she said. Chris didn't change his decision so they broke up and after many calls trying to contact her, Chris thought that the best choice is to wait 
until the child is born and involve a lawyer in this. This wasn't the only obstacle in his life. After breaking up with Zen's mother, he started to hang out with a new girl. One night around 2 am they were chilling together having a drink outside of one business, but suddenly one guy pushes Chris from the back. Chris turns and gets punched in the face and quickly after that four guys try to jump on him. Chris being skilled in martial arts, he hits a guy in front of him and full mounts him. In this moment bouncers from the business came and threw them out. The staff took Chris to their office, watched him and asked if he needed a medical attention. I'm fine, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. I just don't know who those people were, he said. So they let Chris went through back doors that led to long alley. It's almost 3 am and Chris tries to contact the girl who ran from the incident, but suddenly the same attackers see Chris in the alley and run towards him. They brought a few more friends as Chris in the reddit post said. They were about 13 people that surrounded Chris who was standing against the wall so he can be fully circled. Chris from here tries to de-escalate the situation but with no effect and they again try to jump on him. Being in the USA that has a law called stand your ground, one guy receives a flesh wound which made those gangsters stop and run away. It's a few months later and Chris is going to his real estate job, but he is stopped by cops. They told him that one detective wants to talk to him. Chris asked if he is detained. Officers said no. So Chris got into the car, which was a big mistake. He later on finds out that they illegally picked him up with no evidence and fake story from one of those gangsters that was unexpectedly dating Zen's mother. With all the witnesses that saw the incident, the fake story didn't hold up in court and Chris was left only with the bond that he had to pay. The mother's boyfriend did all he could to really make sure that Chris will never bother them again. So after some time, Chris found himself standing again in court with his case put back on. This way Chris for two years lived in fear that he can lose everything if he would lose one trial. Throughout these two years he didn't stop and still competed in calisthenics competitions or making workshops. Positive thing about this is that it made Chris enjoyed every second he had for workout or of course for his son. Also this horrible thing ended up well too when the judge made Chris finally innocent. Chris sees now Zen often and when he grew up a little bit he joined his father in couple of videos where they work out together. Even with all this, Chris worked really hard to make his dream come true, which he successfully accomplished. He was and still is an inspiration for many people to start working out and change their body. And this was the story how Chris from almost losing everything and ended up in prison became by hard work one of the most famous and successful calisthenics athletes in the world. <laughs>